Once upon a time, Mother Duck was sitting on her nest. Her eggs she was keeping warm and doing her very best. So they would hatch and she would see ducklings so sweet. They all hatched, but one who she did not get to meet. On hearing the ducklings quack, Grandfather Duck came to see, but Mother Duck was not as happy as she thought she. He heard about the unhatched egg and took a look at it. It looked like a turkey's egg and did not seem to fit. A few days passed them by and the egg found. Cracked. The duckling that came out gave a very loud quack. He was ugly, looked different, and was coloured white. Mother duck thought that in the end everything. Baby ducklings for a swim in the lovely lake. They all jumped in and made as much noise as they could make. The ugly duckling was swimming far better than the rest. He might look different, but at swimming, he was the best. Later on, Mother Duck took them to the farm to play. The ugly duckling met some farm animals on. Day, which teased him and picked on him, and were all really bad. They told him he looked different, which made him rather sad. Mother duck was angry and felt. That she had to say, my youngest duckling swims so well. So please be on your way. In just a few days, you will see he will look like the others. I am sure ugly duckling will be like his sisters and his brothers. The days went by and nobody would listen to poor Mother Duck. They all said sorry, but the ugly duck. Cling had just been bad luck. His sisters, his brothers, and all the farm animals used to make so much fun. Nobody asked the ugly duckling to play, so he made up his mind to run. He 
He was sad and did not want to go, but the others were so mean. So one night the ugly duckling hoped that he would not be seen. He ran away and fell asleep in a marsh which was muddy and so black. He was alone and very, very sad, but he did not want to go back. The next day when the ugly duckling woke up, he had quite a fright. Staring back at him were some wild ducks that looked quite a sight. The ugly duckling asked, can I stay here, for I have nowhere else to go. The wild duck said you cannot stay, you're too ugly, so the answer is no. The ugly duckling was very upset, I have no friends, he cried. It started to rain, so the ugly duckling ran to find a place to hide. He found an old house with a porch by the door, which was nice and dry. The ugly duckling stood under the porch and had a little cry. The next day the house door opened and a dog came outside. He barked and chased the ugly duckling who had nowhere to hide. All he could do was keep running but he had nowhere to go. The ugly duckling was so scared he had to run fast and not slow. The days came and went again and then winter came along. The ugly duckling found a pond with grass that was fair. He made the grass his brand new home and tried to keep warm. It was a very icy cold winter with winds and many snowstorms. As time went by, the spring came and the days began. Came so bright. The ugly duckling saw on the pond three swans, lovely and white. They were all so beautiful, with necks so long and slim. He knew they would not want to be friends, as they were not ugly like him. The swan saw him and started to swim over to his way. They swam close to him. Hello, Mr. Swan. He heard them say. He did not know why they called him a swan, so he looked into the pond. He could not believe what he saw. It was like magic from a magician's wand. Looking back at him from the water was a swan so white. 
The ugly duckling was gone and left this beautiful sight. I am not ugly anymore. I am beautiful. The ugly duckling cried. The three swans were happy to be his friend, and he joined them with pride. The ugly duckling now had friends that loved him at long last. He was as beautiful inside and out, and now could forget his past. The four swans flew together across the lovely blue sky. All the children watching clapped and cheered as they passed.